Wilson Morales from Black Feminine TV. Hello, guys. How's it going? Hey, go ahead. Good. Yeah. You know, what's it like to play brothers on a set opposite Emma Stone <laughs> in this fun-filled adventure? <laughs> Joe? <laughs> yeah, good. Good. Good times. Good. Very fun. Very good. No complaints. Very nice time. We laughed a lot. <laughs> we laughed a lot, and we, we made a movie we're really proud of, man. <laughs> you know, seeing your characters, it, it, it reminded me as the art for Dodger, but two of you guys, you know? <laughs> you know, it's like, here's you guys without Fagan, you know? Just having fun, doing what you got to do to survive. Do you see? Do you guys see yourselves like like that? I don't. I don't follow Star Trek, so I don't know what <laughs> references you're making right now. But uh, I sure I do think we're we're just like Fagin and the other guy. Oliver Twist. <laughs> yes. Oliver. Oh yeah. Once <laughs> I don't know Star Trek. Uh, you answer. <laughs> What was I gonna say? Um, was it what, what are we were we like? You say we are we like that? Or well, yeah. Do you see? do you see the characters like an art for Dodgers? You know, surviving at all you know at all means yeah. while having yeah. fun of it. Yeah, man. I think that has to be it. You know, and uh, yeah, especially like kind of city life. You know, like when you're living in a bit of wasteland. I mean, I've lived in some pretty weird places, and yeah, I, I can definitely see. Yeah, that that's the vibe. Just kind of surviving. But also not having anybody watching you or telling you what to do or, you know, having to get up at nine o'clock every day, you know, living by your own time. Mm -hmm. This is a big production for both of you guys. Obviously, you know, the movie itself is huge and, and there's a lot to do. You know, did it ever get daunting? You know, so I'm, a, I'm on a big production. You guys have done a number of films, but this is a lot to, you know, in terms of the production design. Paul? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's... um. I wouldn't use the word daunting so much as I would use the term uh, inspiring and exciting, you know, uh, to walk onto these giant sets, be doing these action adventure type scenes, car chases and dog chases and falling off a balcony into a cake. The whole thing was pretty exciting. I really, I really enjoyed it. And I think, I think it feels like a big splashy Disney movie, which is exciting to get to make. It's not <laughs> often to do that. Do you seem to have the most to do physical wise? Was that by choice? Or did Joe say, nah, you can handle it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was in the script, but in general, I, I, I've done a lot of my own stunt work and like fun little things in movies and TV I've done before. So I'm, I'm always up for the physical stuff. That's always fun. You know, and Joe, at the end of the day, obviously, you know, Cruella is a fun filled adventure. We're starting to go back to theaters, you know, uh, is this the type of movie you can wait to watch at home or definitely go to the theaters to watch because it is a big production? I think you can watch it anywhere, man. I mean, like, I think you can watch it anywhere and it would be good. Obviously, cinema gives you something else because you can't just leave. You can't just kind of look at something else. And that's why cinema is so good, right? Because you're kind of stuck and you have to go on the trip with it. But, um, but actually, you can watch this at home. You, you can watch it anywhere and you'll enjoy it. As long as the sound, as long as you've got good sound, then it'll be, then it'll be fun. Yeah, cinema is always great. It's good talking to you guys. Obviously, uh, as uh, you guys continue to do different films, I'll see you down the road. Have a good one. Wilson! Wilson! <laughs> I don't think you got the reference.